he's chomping away quite happily on that. So I actually found one of Big Wig's claws the other day and that had just ripped off. Now he has ripped off one of the other ones in the past. Um, it's one of the, I can't remember what exactly what they're called, but they're higher up than the others. I don't know if it's the same one, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a really big one. I can't think what he's pulling it off on though, because there isn't really anything that would do that. <laughs> what are you doing? So yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure how that happened. Hello. Oh, he's so sweet. Don't escape. No, come back. Because he, if he escapes, it'll be hard to get him back. <laughs> I've also just got some for the guinea pigs as well. They're actually kind of on forage at the minute. Um, so they're not getting as much fed, but they still need a little bit just to sort of... Well, because I can't get quite enough to warrant not feeding any, any veggies. But I've got to go give this to them now. What's she doing that tomato? Fifi! He was just sat there. Fifi, do you want a tomato? She loves them. Do you not want one today? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they look like a little family. <laughs> Oreo just looks so overwhelmed right now. Piper's just chilling up here. And Big Wig loves it under there. It's one of his favourite places to sit. I actually cleaned out the skinny pigs today and they're both fast asleep in this little hut here. It's so cute. Look at them both. Oh my goodness. That is just so cute. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm amazed they're actually managing to get along well in there because normally they push each other out because they like it to themselves. <laughs> so I just put this over here, but they've now got all fleece here. I switched them back to fleece just because I cannot stand the smell of Megazorb. I just kept getting this weird aroma of like a weird, weird smell in my room. And I thought it was maybe because I wasn't cleaning them out enough or something. Then I realised it smells worse when I clean them out and put fresh bedding in and then I came to the conclusion that it's actually the Megazorb which smells weird, so that's not great. However, they're now back onto fleece again and yeah, I'm just loving it. <laughs> and on this side it is fleece but they've got a litter tray with Lay Soft and Lay Soft smells amazing. It's just really nice and fresh, a bit like wood shavings but a lot better for them. They've got ready grass in here and yeah this is like the whole setup and yeah they seem to be quite enjoying it. I just find it so adorable how they're fast asleep in here though. Like isn't that just the sweetest? And there's so much heat coming out of here. Oh. I recently got this rosemary plant from Ikea. You will have seen if you watch my vlog on Erin Essence and we went to Ikea but I got this rosemary plant to sort of freshen up the smell of my room a bit because pet odour can be pretty nasty sometimes and although it's not too bad in my room to say the amount of animals I have in here but it is nice just to have something really scented to keep my room fresh so I'm hoping to get some more of these like lavender would be nice as well he's oh here we go you gotta go and weigh yourselves then <laughs> Oh, they're really wanting their food right now. You're gonna come away yourselves. <laughs> I'll probably end up just carrying them on, but I thought this would be a funny little experiment. Panda's so heavy, oh my god. Panda is... Oh, panda is gone. <laughs> tea cake is 850. 850 grams. This sort of thing is probably better for the skitty ones which are really hard to catch. 
if I can get them to work on themselves, it just makes things a lot easier. Uh, until they all go. <laughs> Hazel, you've got your foot on it, it's changing the reading. <laughs> 1,120. Um, Panda, that is just greedy. <laughs> oh, Hazel's doing it back. <laughs> I'm now out in the rabbit's playhouse. I'm trying to weigh Piper and Big Wig. Um, get rid of that claw. <laughs> Then. Come on, big wig. Good boy, all the way, all the way on. Hey, it's all right. It's only me. What scared you then? Two point zero eight kilograms. Kind of liking these hutches. Like they're good for storage and stuff. If I just want to put like the scales in there. I've got a box of pea flakes here, it's just useful, and then I've got this where I put the bowls and stuff. <laughs> Jasper's just sat here looking very optimistic. He always likes to sit here when I'm doing my work and stuff. Do you want your food then? He's on Felix at the minute, and we actually tried feeding him a more natural diet of like home cut stuff, um, but he didn't like it. He only really likes the meat when it's in the jelly stuff, which I'm not really sure it's the, if it's the best stuff for him. But it's what he likes. He, he's so fussy. Even with certain brands, he won't eat them. This is like the only thing that he actually likes to eat. <laughs> I'll look at him rubbing his head on that. So yeah, we have to give him this stuff, but I think he quite likes it. And he's also on the Harrington's dry food, which he loves. <laughs> so Dandy sat right there under the hay rack. And then, you know, he's in the hammock. <laughs> they love the hammock. So I started to feed the skinny pigs a dry food mix what I give them you will have seen in the last vlog if you watched it this is the dried herd mix which I have for all the animals well the small animals and I don't know if they still sell it but I did get it off Amazon from this German company and it's just a mixture of dried herbs then on top of that I give them this seed mix which I actually made for the rabbits during the molting season but now they've gone past that I just give it to the skinny pigs um, I'm starting now to feed about a teaspoon a day to keep their weights up. This mix is just going to provide them with some healthy fats and also help to keep their skin in good condition because they can get quite dry skin but oily seeds are really good for ensuring their skin doesn't get too dry so it's a good addition to their diet. <coughs> so it's now like 10 o'clock and I've I come to go and shut the rabbits in. It's actually so warm out tonight. I think they just want to stay out overnight, but... Oh, Miffy. Miffy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have to shut them in. Luckily both the rabbits have been very good tonight and they're both come in. I haven't had to chase them around to come in so I'm just going to go lock up the door. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and um, I'm just about to give the rabbits even food. So there's the veg and they've got a tiny bit of grass left over from outside. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.